Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. The all-new 2007 Toyota Tundra is so good it's scary. It accelerates, handles, and brakes better than any full-size truck has a right to. It stands tall and wide and delivers an intimidating road presence that few other vehicles can match. Another thing it delivers is a ton of horsepower. We were not prepared for what lurked under the Tundra's hood. Our limited tester came with a 5.7 liter V8 that makes an eye-popping 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque. The only 2007 full-size truck that even comes close is Chevy's new Silverado, which makes 367 horsepower yet needs a full 6.0 liters of displacement to do it. That's a ton of horsepower, but how fast can the new Tundra really go? It weighs 5,500 pounds and has huge truck tires, so we weren't expecting much. However, the Tundra surprised us yet again. It really romps, and the consensus around the automotive world seems to be that it will scoot to 60 in around 6.5 seconds. For a truck this big, that is startlingly quick. We could spend all day talking about the Tundra's towing and hauling capabilities. The towing ball is an easy on, easy off operation, and with the help of our tester's backup camera, hooking up to the trailer was a snap. Towing capacity for our four-wheel drive limited, with the double cab configuration and the six and a half foot bed, was rated at 10,300 pounds. Our Tundra was equipped with a towing package, which includes a hitch receiver, pre-wiring for trailer brake controls, a cooler and temperature gauge for the transmission, and a 4.30 rear differential. To complement this recipe for towing excellence, our Tundra was equipped with a set of tow mirrors, giving it the most massive set of lenses we've seen on a full-size passenger pickup. The tow mirrors feature integrated turn signals, heated lenses, and a convex mirror at the bottom of the housing. They are power adjustable, but you'll need a strong hand to extend them. We advise you not to try this while driving and don't ask us how we know. They extend by about 3 inches, but even when not extended you can see pretty much anything you might be towing. Our Tundra also came with a very neat option that makes it easy to load and secure heavy items. The bed liner with rails option features a system of anchors and rails for tie-down straps. These little anchors can be moved laterally within a groove on the vertical sides of the Tundra's bed liner in order to accommodate items of all different shapes and sizes. Toyota has sunk a ton of money into marketing the Tundra, with gruff demonstrations of its braking prowess. Not only are the brakes great for hot footing around with an empty payload, they promise to be outstanding on long drives with something large attached to the tow hitch. As with the rest of the Tundra, Toyota subscribed to the bigger is better philosophy. They stuffed 13.9 inch rotors on the Tundra's hubs and wrapped them in four piston calipers. Toyota offers a tailgate assist feature which was a standard feature on our Limited. Basically you just open the tailgate and let go, and it will fall down softly. Despite all the rugged functionality of this full size pickup, the Tundra's cabin is actually a pretty fine place to be. Standard on our Limited were leather seats with power adjustability and heating functions for the front. Our tester had the double cab option, which is halfway between Toyota's base regular cab and its most spacious crew max. The double cab has two conventionally hinged rear doors, which are slightly smaller than the full size ones on the crew max. Our publisher is six foot four and weighs a lot more than he should, and once he adjusted the driver's seat to his liking, could sit in the back with no issues. The Tundra's controls have a high quality feel, with a black lacquer over much of the center console for a futuristic look. The navigation system is great, primarily because it features a touch and drag function like Google Maps or other computerized mapping programs. In a neat touch, the navigation screen also pops out and pivots upward to reveal the slot for the 4-disc CD changer. That changer was part of the navigation package, which equips the Tundra with, in addition to the excellent nav system and backup camera, a 10-speaker audio system, an 8-channel amplifier and subwoofer, Bluetooth capabilities, an auxiliary audio jack, and steering wheel controls for the audio system. The package costs a little over 1600 bucks, but that's a ton of gizmos. Any full-size truck sold in the American market is measured by its capabilities as a work vehicle. In this area, as in any other, the new Tundra excels. The armrest in our truck was huge, 
and had a tray with a little sign on it that read, Remove for file storage. We removed the tray, and sure enough, there was enough depth for a full set of hanging file folders, and a little lip to hang them from. The Tundra's armrest is so cavernous that it's literally laughable, and could probably double as a poker table in a traffic jam. It's little touches like these that make the Tundra such an outstandingly practical machine. There are enough good things to say about this new truck to fill an entire magazine. From the massive V8 and stupendous brakes, to the comfy cabin, to the hassle-free bed, Toyota has upped the ante on all truck manufacturers, be they domestic or foreign. If pickup trucks are continuously evolving and improving, and if this is the best truck on the market today, we see an argument for this being the most capable full-size pickup ever made. As you might expect, you get what you pay for. Fully loaded Toyotas aren't exactly the blue light specials they once were, and our 4x4 limited double cab with the 5.7 liter V8 carried a starting MSRP of $38,550. Added to that were the navigation package, the optional 20 inch alloy wheels at $920, and a couple of other doodads that pushed the sticker for our tester to over 42 grand. Not exactly cheap. We'll see what kind of response this triggers from the rest of the field, and how much more equipment and space can be jammed into this segment. Redesigns for the competition have taken place within the last year or two for the most part, so Toyota has leapfrogged everybody, and should stay at the top of this competitive segment for quite some time. Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.